Have you ever purchased something and thought, ooh, that was the biggest mistake I ever made? Well, I'm Sparky Sparks, and I have purchased two wigs from wigs.com who have a generous return policy of 30 days. And I really thought for sure these two wigs I would return, but I wanna show you what happened. Okay, so the first wig is by Gabor. And um, this wig, I thought, mm, there's no way. So let me show you, and then we'll work with her and I'll show you what happened. So this is Gabor. And if you followed me for a bit, you know that when I went to Florida, I swam in my wig. A big question was, can you swim in a wig? And the answer is yes, you can. So this is, I'd call this my swimming wig because it's Gabor. And the name, the style is called Glamorize Always. I had a friend try this one on yesterday, so we're gonna tighten her up a little bit for my head. Here we go. So when you first put on the wig, it's about what it looks like, and you will immediately say, okay, this is going back, but bear with me. And for reference, I think you should check out my trip to Florida. Now, I never know which side I like to partner on. And take a minute, because you've just seen me in a red wig. So it takes a minute to adjust your eyes and, and my eyes, because I've had, I have makeup on that kind of goes with my red hair. But this is Glamorize Always by Gabor. Let me get her on. When I first put her on, I thought, well, first of all, there is no shaded root. And I always, <clears throat> up until this point, have worn wigs with shaded roots. And then I went and saw my aunt in Florida, and she doesn't have a shaded root. So she said that people actually want their root dyed all the way to the hairline. I had never heard that before. So I always thought we had to have some sort of shading in our root and I would put eyeshadow in here to make it look more real. And that's not the case. There are women who, and if you're one of them, you know what I'm talking about. It takes a lot of effort to make your roots disappear every month. This is a great little number. This is Gabor, Glamorize Always. And this is the gal I took to Florida and I swam in her and she's just stunning, a stunning wig. So I'm glad I didn't return her. I worked with her. Actually, I hung her up on a hanger for, I don't know, a couple weeks because I thought there's just no way I'm wearing a wig without a root, but I'm so glad I didn't return her because she's become one of my favorites and one of my go-tos. So the moral of this story is let it be for a minute. Put them on, wear them, style them, check out other people's hair. Because what you'll see is that some people wear things that we haven't seen before. Like I had never seen hair dyed all the way to the, to the root. I don't, I just had never noticed that on anybody. Okay, so my number two that I thought for sure I was going to return, and again, you saw this wig if you follow me um, through the Florida or through the Texas trip when I went to Texas and I was in that golf tournament. This is the wig I wore. Now, this is Raquel Welch, and this is called uh, Spotlight, and the color is Pale Golden Honey. Now, the color on this is Biscuit not shaded biscuit, which is normally a, a big favorite color of mine. But this is biscuit and it's, it's, you know, not shaded at all. So that was, you know, alarming to me. So this next one is called Spotlight Elite. So the difference being, we talked earlier about this, the hand tied cap. So it's very smooth. If you don't have your own hair, this will be much smoother on your head. It's also a little more realistic in that if you looked between, you really can't see between the hair, but if you were to try to look and piece through the hair, you'd be able to see the wefts where the hair is tied. But it's unlikely that somebody's gonna you know, get in there and look for, as we used to look for lice on our kids' hair. No, it's not like that. So this is nice and tightly sewn in. There's no way for the hair to poke back through. This is a stretchy cap. This is Raquel Welch. 
in the color Pale Golden Honey or 80, um, 1688 is the code number. I'm gonna put her on and you can see. Now, again, this next wig is a wig I thought I'd return. So let me fix this cap a little bit. Okay. And when I put this girl on, again, Spotlight Elite in Pale Golden Honey. And we'll do this again. So when you first put them on, you kind of have to bear with yourself and remember, you have to adjust it. And so the ear tabs go right at my temples or above my ears. Now, again, this is really light. It's a different color blonde than I normally wear. I'm gonna break through the part. Now, wigs.com has a 30-day return policy. And I would challenge you before you go and return your wig, wear it a minute and see what you think. One of the best ways to see what you look like in your wig is to take a selfie. So as you take a selfie, so see this piece, is she doesn't wanna go here, she doesn't wanna go there. So let's see where we're gonna put her. We'll put her where she wants to go. This is a beautiful wig, one of my go-tos now, Pale Golden Honey, Spotlight Elite. She's just really gorgeous. And she's one of my favorites. And I another thing I didn't think I'd like, because if you've ever seen me, in my natural hair, I like to have bangs because of my, what I like to call my eight head. But somehow in these wigs, I love to show off the hairline. And this hairline is stunning, especially with this bright piece right here. So people always say, it looks like it's coming out of your scalp. Well, it sure does. Now I also have this style in Fiery Copper. So you've seen me probably in that. But again, this was a wig that I thought for sure was going back. And no, I wear her all the time. I wear her when I golf, if I'm playing date golf, I call it. Um, when a gentleman asks me to go golfing or play golf with him, I usually pick this and I wear a visor to shade my the sun. And I might put a little braid in the side to keep it off my off my face, but with a visor, it automatically stays off my face. So I'll show you a little bit how I do this. Take the front part that's closest to your face and start with that part back. And then you can just make a messy little braid. It doesn't have to be fancy. Because, there we go. I kind of feel like Marsha Brady. So there you go. Just pretty, really pretty. So wigs.com, and this one is Spotlight Elite in Pale Golden Honey. And one that I would have missed out on had I returned her when I first got her. I just thought that it's a different color blonde on me. It doesn't feel right, but I get so many compliments and I do love this blonde wig. It's hard to choose from day to day which wig to wear. I hope that's helpful. And, you know, just for kicks, I'm gonna go back since we're at the end of the video. And if you've stayed this long, you might as well see the quick transformation back into Raquel Welch's Wavy Day, which is what I'm gonna go out in the, for tonight in the evening with. So this is Wavy Day. And this is what I really have my makeup set for. So again, a great part line. I love the curls. Wavy day. I know everybody has their opinions. Some think you guys, some of you guys like me as a redhead. Some like me as a blonde. Some like me just the way I am, whatever day that is. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Cheers.